I want you to panic. Our house is on fire. Hi everyone, Angry Foreigner here, reporting live from Sweden, a country where 46% of the population experience climate anxiety and 47% suffer from something called flight shame, which is to often feel guilty about your flying. Of course, when Sweden invents a word, it's gonna be rooted in shame and guilt. That's just good stereotyping right there. 56% of Swedes also cut down on their meat consumption because they feel guilty about the impact it's having on the environment. So as you can imagine, religious belief in the conspiracy theory of global warming is basically a norm here, and that kinda gives a cultural backdrop <coughs> gives a cultural backdrop to today's topic. A few months ago I made a video on Greta Thunberg, otherwise known as Climate Greta. And since then this beast, this ghastly ghoul of social awareness has spread all the way across the Atlantic by boat, a four million dollar yacht to be more specific, and since six of her crew are gonna fly back to Europe, this publicity stunt will hurt the environment harder than if she just use a plane. Great activism. No wonder she likes Leonardo DiCaprio so much. Remember when he took a private jet to pick up an environmental award? Real, uh, kindred celebrity activism right there. You know a repeating pattern with these preachy climate activists is the complete inability to live according to their own ideals. This is otherwise known as overcompensation. And it's reaching pretty disastrous levels because now we have politicians and activists calling for a new world order. So Alex Jones isn't even a conspiracy theorist anymore, is he? Since you smelly climate cretins had to go and prove him right. We are now seeing an established term called climate dictatorship. Sweden's biggest papers are publishing debate articles advocating that we get rid of democracy and nation states in order to save the climate. This one signed by 87 influencers and climate activists has particularly lovely reasoning saying we obviously can't handle freedom so please take it away from us Mr. Prime Minister. The headline literally says run your people over to save the climate. End of quote. Urging the government to just not let people do anything bad. bad. Then when people investigated the author's social media accounts, they discovered these climate activists use airplanes more than anyone! A shitload of fancy trips and flight photos, some even while writing about climate change. It's kinda tiresome being right all the time, guys. Now I've said for years that the modern left is like the Catholic Church. Got a huge, huge raging hard on for the puritanical censorship, and of course hypocrisy surrounding all of which they want to censor. Then you climate clits go advocate for dictatorship, and all of a sudden you think you're cleansed from sin. You think screeching your shitty opinion is the same as counting 45 Hail Marys. And as always, normal people are stuck paying for this shameless projection of upper class assholes. Because the irony of it all is that you gotta have money to be environmentally friendly. So it's hardly the first thing on a working class mind. If someone tries to make you feel guilty about your climate habits, just make them declare their own first. Nine times out of ten you're gonna win by pure hypocrisy, and the tenth time you can just say that you're not a perfect person. And the fact that you're not a perfect person is why Greta wants you to, to panic. panic. I want you to act as if the house was on fire. I want you to panic. You know what makes her virtue signaling media campaign even worse is that even if those six people hadn't used planes to go back, what kind of symbolism were they originally aiming for? Hey everyone, look, it's totally possible to cross the Atlantic with zero emission if you're just rich enough to own a four million dollar special built yacht. Great symbol. And even though it costs four million, it still lacks basic comfortability, such as a cooked meal and quality housing. So this is totally gonna be a popular solution that people wanna use, right? Whether the climate cretin is now globally famous, and everyone thinks that this is organic popularity coming straight from the people. Naturally spanning across the entire globe, but the phenomenon known as Climate Greta is the product of a Swedish PR agency specializing in digital ads. This company claimed credit for making her a global celebrity, and in addition to that, the CEO is connected with Greta's mother, a huge celebrity in Sweden. They've attended climate meetings together, co-published debate articles together, and are clearly involved in political opinion making, etc. Greta's mother is known for her very brave opinions on social justice, frequently granting her media coverage, as well as her opera. Singing. And it's real interesting to note how Greta's entirely random yet completely inspiring school protest happened on the 20th of August 2018, immediately followed by tons of media attention. And just a few days later her mom gets interviewed about the new book that the two are writing, tying their family crisis together with the climate issue. <laughs> well, good gosh, this really isn't transparent at all, now is it? It didn't get any better when Greta's infamous appearance at the top climate meeting in Poland 
Poland took place in a nearly empty room, so not that many world leaders there. But our state media tried to present this as one of many examples of how everyone is interested in what Greta has to say, yet their own recorded footage doesn't really back that claim. And when people started commenting this, when people started noticing the obscene amount of empty chairs, our tax-funded state media journalist tells them that they're conspiracy theorists. Because it really doesn't take much to get that label in this country. Now ever since the beginning the media has greatly exaggerated Greta's popularity because in addition to her own opinion, she also represents the opinion of the journalists and the media norm. This might also explain why Greta literally looks like an NPC without any Photoshop involved. And so by presenting their opinions via a young person, they've essentially created a progressive child soldier. A human shield, if you will. Centered around the idea that children are children. They're so young and fragile, they don't know anything about the world, so you're really not allowed to question them when they start lecturing you on how that world works. Because it's just a kid. How can you be so mean? Adults aren't supposed to tell children that they're wrong about something. Info pervert. Scoundrel. Put those hate facts away. You info pervert. Greta has literally been presented as a young prophet, while critique against her is nearly considered hate crime. But public figures are supposed to handle tough criticism, satire, and even downright mockery. So if Greta really is smart and superior, with a bigger intellect than the entire adult world put together, then how come she can't handle the demands placed on all public figures? Oh, it's because she's young, you're saying. I see. Then why did you make her famous? Either you admit to child abuse, or I'm calling this person a fucking moron with a free pass called democracy. That's the only way that civilization can be maintained. Because I can call kids morons. I can tell them that they're worthless little pieces of shit, and that the world would have been much better without them. And climate scientists would agree with me, given that having children is worse for the climate than both car, plane, or boat. So you see the mess you've created here? Anyone who wants to talk climate change and be taken seriously has to sterilize themselves and then commit suicide, because their life alone is what's taking a toll on this planet. Not cars, boats, or airplanes per se. Now, it's your 80 years life expectancy of consumption habits, so if you really want to save the world, why not start with yourself? You Hollywood hypocrites place these insane demands on us normal people, because you can't afford to live them yourself. So no, I'm not gonna feel bad about your consumption habits. I'm a heterosexual white male, and they try to blame me for the climate crisis, when I don't even own a car and have only used an airplane once in my life. Such a big deal I even made a video about it. Like considering women are responsible for the majority of all consumption, and China are the ones dumping most shit into our seas, I'm gonna have to question that evil white man narrative I keep seeing everywhere. It uh, doesn't really add up. And the problem with dumb rich people getting bored is that they take common sense issues like the environment and turn it into a religion, and all of a sudden there's new taxes you can look forward to paying, along with new sacrifices to your freedom, all because some new form of idiocy went and got popular with the upper class. Speaking of which, I'm uh, really concerned for Greta. I think she's heading down a dark path and that she might be legitimizing fascism. As I mentioned before, scientists have concluded that procreation is worse for the environment than any means of travel, and non-white countries have the absolute highest population rates, seeking to increase in the near future. So if Greta wants to be consistent, I don't think it's gonna take very long before she becomes a radical nationalist. Because you kinda can't care about the environment without talking demographics. And if you wanna start talking demographics, things are gonna get pretty awkward. And it's gonna be pretty hilarious. Last, but certainly not least, here in Sweden, Greta is often compared to Jesus Christ. And since not even I hate Christians that much, I feel like I wanna nuance that statement. The Jesus miracles include helping the poor, healing lepers, and spending 40 days and 40 nights in the desert without any food or water. Greta's miracles include skipping school, that's one. And two is finding a way to screw the climate even while trying to save that climate. So maybe Greta isn't Jesus. Maybe she's not even a role model. And since I eat shit and drink more booze than anyone, I'm not gonna claim to be any better for the climate than what she is. But maybe that's the entire point. Maybe we're all just people, man. <laughs>